Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video today and today we are here for a little bit of a different video I think it's fair to say. Now the footage in this video will just be sort of random footage in the background for this because today I sort of wanted to talk a little bit sort of about what's going on but behind the scenes on YouTube because I feel over the last few weeks, months even to be honest, there's sort of been a bit of a change on the channel. I sort of felt, you know, obviously it's... I should be explaining to you why this is, or why I'm sort of doing the things that I'm doing around this channel, the sort of things, and obviously how I look to go forward. So a bit of a channel update, sort of a bit of a discussion. So you know, I like to keep you guys in the loop. Obviously, where where I feel that it is fair to. So I think it's fair to say since F1 2017, the channel has taken quite a turn. Now, whether that be the better for the worse. Obviously, it's up for you to decide if you preferred it beforehand, then I can only apologise. If you prefer it now, then that's obviously good. But I've sort of made a few changes. Now, most notably, beforehand, I was uploading daily pretty much consistently. Now, obviously, videos would change depending on what they were, and obviously, the quality of things have changed, which I'll get onto in a second. But I was uploading daily content, and that was basically it to a degree sort of thing. Since F1 2017 has come out, obviously I got that game early. I smashed it for like the first couple of weeks. I think I doubled subscribers in like the space of like two weeks. So obviously I can't thank you guys enough. I think I went from like 1.4k to 2.9 or there or thereabouts. So obviously that was a really, really good time. And then obviously a few things changed after that, which I think I'll get onto in a second. But I think obviously from about, obviously F1 2017 came out at the end of August. Then, obviously, to about October, it was a really, really good phase. Uh, obviously, we had F1 Esports as well. And then, sort of, since then, I've sort of tailed off in terms of content creation. Now, really, series that I'm doing at the moment consistently, I haven't uploaded the McLaren Honda career mode in probably close to a month again. I desperately, desperately need to finish off those final three races. Whether I'll do a season two or not is a bit of a different question. Now, if the support's still there, then I might try and do one, you know, sort of slowly but surely. Uh, Weber's return has completely fallen off the face of the map. I just sort of struggled to find any sort of motivation to record that series. Now, there were a couple of reasons to that. One, I just, I don't know why, I just don't find that series particularly enjoyable. Now, whether that just be because of the 25% races, I don't know. But I just found that that series wasn't that fun to record as much as I'd hoped it was. You know, I sort of prefer, I, I like sort of the challenge of McLaren Honda, but overall... I think generally I sort of just found F1 2017 career mode just a little bit uninteresting for me. Now that has been a couple of couple of, that has been because a couple of different reasons which I'll get into. But other sort of things on F1 2017 pro season mode, that's probably the one I enjoy the most, sort of over the career mode aspects of things at the moment. So I, I do intend to you know continue doing that. And then after that, really, Cult Crew Mode, Carl and I, we sort of do that whenever we get the chance. I still enjoy recording Cult Crew Mode, that one's very, very enjoyable to do. But it's sort of just when we get the chance to do it, is sort of when we do it. Now, there were a few reasons for that. I won't really jump into those too much because I sort of don't really like to, you know, cause controversy or anything. But there were a couple of times where there was a little bit of questioning between me and a few other people about the validity of people's content to a degree. Now, whether you're going to hate on me for that, I don't really know. Obviously, for those of you that do know what I'm talking about, then obviously you will know exactly what I'm talking about here. And obviously, I don't really, really want to point the finger at anyone that I don't need to or that I don't want to because generally, in my personal opinion, you know, the F1 community isn't really much of a beef-driven community, I'd say, on the whole. And although obviously I'm one very small cog in on what is probably a very, very small system, to be honest, I sort of feel that that wouldn't really be necessary for me to do. But overall, that uh, the, the sort of uh, accumulation of those sorts of things left me feeling a little bit demotivated, you know. I felt that since F1 2017's release, obviously I got that opportunity to get the footage early. I sort of feel that I don't feel the sort of the opportunity was wasted. But I feel that I've learned a lot since then. And I feel that, obviously, whether I get that opportunity again this year or not is a very, very different question. A lot of things have changed since then that isn't really to do with me to a degree. So I obviously won't go into those too much. But I sort of feel that if I get that opportunity again, then there will be a huge amount of different things I would do with it, you know, to sort of really, really change it around. Now, in terms of series that I'm doing, whether Weber's Return or Return, whether Weber's Return will return uh probably not unless i don't do season two of mclaren honda career mode i do intend to finish off the mclaren honda career mode i do intend to finish off pro season 
I'm definitely going to be doing the F1 2008 career mode. You know, I'm really, really enjoying that at the moment. Unfortunately, the support wasn't quite there where I'd hoped it to be, but it was still, you know, obviously very, very enjoyable to record. You know, something a little bit different that I really, really enjoy doing. Uh, other series, the F1 1980s career mode, I think I've got like two videos left to record on that, so I'll try and get those finished over the next few weeks. Match career mode as well. I saw, I'm terrible with match career mode. I'll sort of leave it for like two months, make two videos, and then sort of leave it again. So that is really really not good for that series. I may end up restarting it at some point. I feel that could be something, you know, a little bit of a change of scene for it all. But I'll probably, what I, what I might end up doing is sort of finishing off a few other things beforehand and then I'll go back into F1 Matt's career mode. So hopefully, you know, you guys, if you want to see that again, then I will definitely do that. I'll sort of let, I know Hayden Gullis is doing his Rags to Riches, which is sort of the same thing to a degree. I know he's doing that at the moment. So what I'll probably do is let him sort of get way into his I know Xfitcho as well is now starting an F1 2010 career, and so I'd let him sort of get way through towards the end of that before I continued with any of that. So I'd sort of just do, you know, when I sort of feel ready to. Probably more towards the summer. Now, I have got a huge amount more plans for F1 career mode. You know, I've actually got a list of, I think, close to sort of 30 ideas for different seasons that I do want to do different seasons and series that I would like. And obviously those will take a huge amount of time. I won't be able to do, you know, seven of those a week. You know, to try and get them all done. You know, those are ideas that I want to keep saved for when I want to do them, which is obviously a very, very different question. Yeah, as I was sort of saying, I don't really feel that, you know, I should try and get all those career modes done straight away. You know, I've got... I still feel that, you know, there's no real sort of sign that I want to quit YouTube at the moment. You know, there's definitely an element of I still enjoy it, but I feel that the content is going to change over the next few months. Now, I'm sort of going to jump into that then, and over the last few weeks, you will have noticed that I've started streaming a lot more. Now, streaming is something I find really, really enjoyable. There are a few reasons for that. One of them, and I'm, I'm gonna be brutally honest, is because there are some series that I just can't be bothered to edit. Like, I'd much rather just stream, you know, for the people that wanna see them, you know, I do sometimes still upload the full streams, but for the people that wanna see them, it's a brilliant chance. I'm not I'm not gonna try and like, big myself up or not, but it's a brilliant chance for those that do wanna interact with me. They can ask me a huge amount more questions and a much quicker space of time so you know if there is stuff you want to ask me obviously there is i i do draw the line at some things but if see if there is stuff you want you like it's a good way to interact with me somehow i sort of lee grace and look at the chat as well which sometimes isn't the best thing i have almost crashed a couple of times thanks to that so i really do need to concentrate on that but streaming is something i find really really enjoyable at the moment now i'm doing ulc as well which is the united league's championship which is really, really good fun. We did round one on Tuesday. I would highly, highly recommend coming around to those. I do that with Diablo, JB33 or James, as he's more commonly known as sort of a good... I think we peaked out last time, although YouTube is very, very funny with how many viewers you've actually got. I think we peaked out over 100 last time, which was really, really good to see. Um, but overall, I sort of... In terms of streaming, uh, Tuesday nights obviously is ULC. Uh, Wednesday... Well, that's after our classics, but that finishes next week. Fridays I do FFR and Saturdays I'll probably be doing the LCR Formula E and then Sundays I'll be doing the LCR Formula 1. Now those are sort of more in the afternoon, the two LCR ones, but still overall very, very enjoyable. Now in terms of other content, I sort of find I'm just a very busy person generally. Monday nights I've got, well Mondays I'm in college, uh, Monday nights I've got AOR Factor 2, Tuesdays I'm in college till 9 till 4 and then I've got ULC uh, Wednesdays. I'm in college in the afternoon, so I sort of sleep in in the mornings, and then in the evenings, sometimes I, you know, do SRL Classics, other times, you know, I'm sort of just busy doing other stuff. Thursdays, I'm usually out. Fridays, I've got... Fridays, I'm actually usually free, which is sort of why I like to do streaming. Then, apart from now, obviously, I've got FFR. Saturdays, I've got LCR and now the AOR Formula 2 League, and then Sundays, I've got AOR and the AOR F1 League. So, overall, I'm a very, very busy person. Hopefully, you sort of understand why I do prefer to stream stuff because that does mean generally I sort of I'm there more if you get what I mean but that sort of leads me nicely into where I sort of want to take this channel now this isn't going to be a full changeover to I'm going to be doing this now and I'm going to be stopping F1 there is no intent to stop F1 it will be slowing down more and more I feel over the next few months but I am doing quite a few endurance races over the next few weeks now to not really obviously um so I'm going to try and get this video out on the Thursday, which is actually the day I'm recording this, so whether I get it out or not, very, very different question. 
but I'm doing this weekend, I will be doing the Online Racing Association Daytona 24 hours. I can't unfortunately stream that because Forza have decided that Spectate Camera still doesn't need to be implemented into the game. Not really ideal, that was sort of the plan to do the full 24 hours. What I may end up doing, because I'm going to stay awake for it all anyway, uh, my first stint is the first stint of the race, 3 till 5 in on Saturday afternoon, so hopefully you do come around for that. Then what I might do is some road to rank 50 late into the night. Sunday then I've got my second stint at 1 till 3 a.m. and then 5 till 7 a.m. So I might, you know, do more road to rank 50 between those two. Uh, then the next week after that is the real day turn in 24 hours, so I won't be doing anything then. I think the Wednesday after that I then might be doing the AOR Project Cars 2. Uh, 2.4 hours, uh, 2.4 hours of Daytona, and then the weekend after that, I've got the 12 hours of Daytona on R Factor 2. So very, very busy. The week after that, with uh, I've got the Bathurst three hours, and then a fortnight after that, I may then have the Gran Turismo Sport, uh, 12 hours of Bathurst as well. So very, very busy over the next few weeks with endurance races and that sort of. I want to be streaming as many of those as I possibly can as well. But overall, I sort of think that there's going to be a bit of change with this channel. Um, another sort of little thing I want to sort of brush upon is, I know I've been getting a few questions about this, about this new um, YouTube ads, not AdSense, sorry, what's it called? Like the creator program, where obviously people that haven't reached the new threshold obviously don't make any revenue anymore. My personal thoughts on that is overall... Oh, like, it's sort of more in the F1 community because I don't really follow much else. For the F1 community, not really a good thing. Obviously, a lot of people are very, very frustrated with that. Now, obviously, for some people, it is sort of about the money. And obviously, if you haven't reached that threshold, then you shouldn't really be worrying too much about the money. Um, I even don't really that much now, to be honest. You know, it's sort of, it's a nice sort of stable side income I've got. But it's nothing that's ever really going to become dependable on. Um, other things, obviously, for some people, obviously, it is a very, very enjoyable thing. Whether they make, you know, one pound a month or a ten thousand pounds a month, then obviously it's a little bit different. But for some people, it's just a bit frustrating to know that YouTube is still sort of kicking them down a lot more now. For me personally, I'm not going to try and like beat around the bush or anything for it. For me, I meet that threshold. Uh, not to sort of brag or anything, but I meet that threshold quite comfortably. Uh, obviously, it's 1,000 subscribers. I'm at, obviously, 3,500 nearly. Obviously, you guys can see that straight away. It's 4,000 hours of footage, and I think I'm around sort of the 50,000 hours of footage in the last 365 days. So, for me, it's it's not really a good thing, I think. I sort of, A good thing is probably the wrong way to put it, but for me, it's probably beneficial because I'm really, really hoping that YouTube now have got a chance to sort of fix their system Desperately, desperately needs to be done, and I really, really hope you know that they sort of pull the finger out their ass and fix it. Obviously, with less people, you know, being able to claim monetization, hopefully that means that they can focus on actually sorting out the real issues. Where ev I think every single one of my video since the system's been put in place has been taken down, demonetized because it's not suitable. I've requested every single one, and believe it or not, every single one within 48 hours has been put back up for monetization. By that point, basically every view has gone. So it's a very, very tricky situation that I think everyone has been putting for it. I'm hoping now, obviously for me, and obviously this is gonna sound selfish that they do fix it. Now, obviously it's not intended to be that way, but obviously you've got to sort of think for yourself as well. Obviously I completely understand why so many people are so pissed off with it. But for now, I feel that I'm gonna to have to support their decision because hopefully then it sort of fixes it overall um but i don't really sort of want to get dug down into too much of that sort of beef as of right now but hopefully you know you guys have enjoyed this bit of a different video once again i sort of only apologize really i think that's the fairest thing i can do you know it's it's been a rough few months i won't lie with terms of youtube it's sort of been a bit of a turning point i'm going to be leaving college in four months time i think four or five months time i won't be going to university i will be getting a job so whether we'll have to wait and see what happens with YouTube after that. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Do not forget to like, subscribe if you're new around here and you want to see more content on the channel. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys next time for hopefully a bit more of a normal video.